Hey, little Rico, tonight we're talking about a food revolution that could save millions of animals just like you. It could even save the planet and solve world hunger. Take a look at these hens crammed into cages so small they can barely move. But inhumane treatment of animals isn't the only reason our food system needs to change. It's so much more efficient to get a plant directly to a person who's eating it than it is to feed plants to animals and then feed those animals to people. Microsoft legend Bill Gates, one of the smartest men in the world, investing money to come up with a better way to feed humans. The world's population is expected to grow to 9 billion humans by 2050. Our planet cannot sustain meat production for such a large population. We need alternatives. Listen to this from thegatesnotes.com. Only 25% of the weight of a live chicken is consumable meat. So you are keeping alive an animal that much of it doesn't have much to do with what consumers actually eat. These chickens are fed massive amounts of soy and massive amounts of corn, which require massive amounts of fertilizer, which require massive amounts of oil. 51% of climate change emissions can be attributed to livestock. Straight out to Josh Tetrick, CEO of Hampton Creek Foods. Scientists and chefs at your company, which is backed by Bill Gates, are working around the clock right now in your laboratories creating a plant-based egg substitute that you say will look and taste just like eggs, be more nutritional, have zero cholesterol, and uh, congratulations, your eggless mayo, called Just Mayo, has just been picked up by Whole Foods. Tell us about Just Mayo, Josh. So, Jane, there's no reason why all of these eggs need to come from chickens crammed into cages. We don't need it. So we get rid of the chickens, we get rid of the cages, we get rid of the food safety issues, and instead we use a plant in mayonnaise, a plant that makes just mayo without cholesterol and more affordable. And we think it's a part of the path to building a truly sustainable food system. Now, do you know at home what it takes to produce a factory farmed egg? Listen to this, and then we'll discuss it. 99% of all of the eggs we eat, whether in Birmingham, Alabama, or Beijing, China, come from these awful places called battery cage facilities, where you have egg-laying hens just crammed in a cage that's so small, they can't flap their wings, and they're fed all of this corn and all of this soy. And we think that system needs to be disrupted. And our idea is, let's take the animal entirely out of the equation, Josh Tetrick, why has Bill Gates decided to get involved in this and fund your company? I think Bill Gates can look at the current system of food and he sees total brokenness, inefficiency. And if we were starting things from scratch, we wouldn't do it this way. We're not living on horse and buggies anymore and Africa are not using landlines anymore. We can move to something smarter and he's a smart guy and he wants efficiency and he thinks this is the way the world needs to go. Uh, take a look at this. That looks like somebody making an omelet, right? But there are no eggs in that omelet. That is the Hampton Creek Foods Laboratory where they are cooking up the egg of the future. It's an eggless egg. They expect it to hit by next spring, and it is going to revolutionize our world and could go a long way toward ending world hunger by feeding the plants directly to the people much more efficient and humane.